This has been a long time coming. Yo dudes and do that, your friendly neighborhood Jack's Blade is back. And today I'm going to answer an email I got that I was just like, I have to do a video on this because it just touched my soul. So let's just get right into it. The email says, hey there Jax, my name is Jonathan and I'm a big fan of yours. I got into lifting recently due to Tough Like The Tunes and have made some great results. Awesome, dude. My question is this, ever since I was a little kid, I've always loved running and jogging daily. Nothing makes me feel better than a good morning run when the sun is first coming up. Since I started lifting recently, I've started to see improvements to my muscles and getting gains all over the place. Awesome, bro! Alright, but a couple of my friends who have been lifting for a lot longer than me told me that if I care about muscles, I need to stop doing sissy cardio like jogging and sent me this image. Okay, this is stupid. Aaron, is this image, alright? Okay, which will be debunking. Uh, okay saying that all that running will zap away my gains. I only run about two to three miles daily and then later in the day I do my lifts and I feel I've been making solid progress when I look at my photos. But my friends have gotten my head saying that the alpha way to do car for fuck's sake. The alpha way to do cardio is only sprints or shortening rest between sets to boost a heart rate that'll build a body all the bitches would love. Okay, your friends are pretty good. I'm, I got some words for your friends in a second. All right, they are all pretty muscular and have great looking bodies, but I really love running and wanted to ask, is there a way to keep building myself up while also keeping my cardio good? I don't really care to be built like a bodybuilder, but just to have a nice muscular frame for myself. Any advice would be greatly appreciated, Jax. Love your work, Sensei. All right, yeah, I got a ton of work. Okay, so first things first, Jonathan, uh, your friends, friends are stupid. stupid. I'm just gonna tell you straight up, they're fucking stupid. I don't care of what I'm saying. Like, I hope you show them this. They are dumb. Because what you basically said is that the people who do that type of cardio aren't that badass. When in reality, the top tier fighters and top tier soldiers do that. So what you basically said is, oh, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, George St. Pierre, Francis Ngannou, all these badass fighters and like, you know, Jocko Willink and David Goggins and all these freaking badasses who do their cardio and focus on cardio. Yeah, they as badass as me who lifts weights to look pretty for some girls and stuff like that. And it's just like, bruh, sit your ass down. Again, I do not judge on this channel. This is a very body positive place, but if you're like one of those people who's just like, oh, I do this, and so I'm so much superior to this when this person and these type of people clearly outclass you, I'm just like, bruh, I don't play that shit. Hi, it's Jax with Science Facts. Nerd time, let's get into it. Now, before we get started, I want to say this really quickly. I'm not doing this as like a demonization of sprints because you know on this channel, I love sprints. I've made so many videos on how much I love sprints, I how much I love running, how much I love walking. Again, if you really want to see great fat loss for aesthetics, walk 10 to 15K steps per day. You will be surprised at how great that goes with your you know, weight training, stuff like that. But on to what I'm talking about right now, the thing we want to mention is there is just this this demonization of people who think like jogging and running will completely zap away all your gains, will make you just completely flat and skinny and all that stuff. And that's just not the case. And that's what we're doing right now. Now, I'm not going to break it down like 100%. I'm just going to make it super easy to understand so you could show this to like your mom or to like a five year old and so like they could like get it. Like, for instance, I didn't talk about water. Like, water is very important as I've talked about it many times before on this channel. Again, hit that bell icon and subscribe. But like, you know, if you're like feeling depleted, water can play a role in that. That. If you're feeling a bit bloated, water can play a role in that. If you lose weight fast, it's water. You gain weight fast, probably water. So lots of stuff like that. I'm just talking about like key things that I don't hear enough people talk about. So without further ado, let's get right into this. All right, what is up, folks? What I'm going to do right now is just break down the chemistry of what happens inside your body when you actually go for a run. So pretend this is you right here, or pretend this is you, or if you're non-binary, you know, either one can be you. I do not judge here. Like I'm accepting everyone. So whatever. Let's just break this down. So our main main form of energy that we use in our bodies is from ATP, otherwise known as adenosine triphosphate, and that is pretty much just the currency of our metabolism. And so we get that from the foods we eat, and we get it primarily from glucose. Now glucose is our body's primary um, form of fuel that we really enjoy using. This is your body's favorite thing of fuel, and you get that from, you know, carbohydrates, like various things you eat throughout the day contain like glucose, and then it's just stored as glucose, and of course you also get fat. This is stored as fat, I'm just using butter, so this is the storage of fat, so it's easy to see. And then of course you get proteins and stuff like that for your muscles and gains and all that. So we're just gonna use those for proteins. So what happens is your body literally when you're running has to use a fuel source. So ATP is you know being called in. So your body will literally go, hey, 
guess what? This we're gonna use this for ATP. We're just gonna use that for ATP just to make it clear. Just this is fun. We're having fun here, just explaining this stuff. So your body will literally be like, hey, looks like you're going for a run. Looks like you're gonna need some energy to maintain that sort of stuff. Well, how about I give you 36 ATPs and you give me some of that glucose and maybe some of that fat, baby? And your body's like, okay, sure. So when you go on your run, boom, 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 you're going on your run, your body literally starts converting that and using that, and so it starts trading glucose for ATP. So you're able to like start maintaining the course of your run so you have the energy to keep going through it. And also uses some fat. Now here's the thing I've talked about before in this channel. Your body will primarily use glucose during those type of moderate pace uh, cardio events where you're just, you know, you're constantly going, you're constantly going, constantly going because it's just a good fuel source and it's able just to be broken down while you're doing that moderately high pace, but it's not like, you know, super intense, but it's not like, you know, so light either. Like if you're using just light, like very, very light stuff, then most of the calories will come from fat right here. So that's why a lot of bodybuilders always talk about like just using brisk walking or like being in the fat burning zone with your car cardio where you can maintain a conversation. Like if you can maintain a conversation when doing cardio, that's what we call like the good fat burning zone for yourself. But when you're doing this, primarily a lot of the stuff is coming from glucose. So your sugar, blah, 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 ATP, sugar, ATP, blah, blah, boom. But this right here, this is the protein and muscle right now. Now this is not going to be touched unless it is a dire situation. And those come from if you are overtraining or under recovering. So as we've talked about before, if you are not eating enough to, you know, properly fuel your body or you are not sleeping enough, you know, getting at least seven to eight hours Hours, but if you're doing athletic competition, remember you are not average anymore because you're doing a lot more stuff than the average person is. So you require more sleep. So eight to nine would be more beneficial for someone who's highly, highly active. But again, seven to eight works just as well. But this right here will not be touched unless it is a dire, dire situation that is going down for you. So you don't have to worry about like this being broken down in this situation. Now, the common thing that does happen though, if you're doing like, you know, jog, blah, 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 or any type of moderate pace cardio, a lot of the times people will say, I look a lot flatter when I'm doing that. When I mean flatter, I don't mean like, you know, <laughs> I mean like your muscles don't look as like full when they're doing um, cardio afterwards. And that's because you're depleted from glycogen. Now glycogen is pretty much stored glucose in the muscles that has been, you know, used for what, during what you were doing. But it's easily fixed if you go and, you know, you have a meal throughout the day. Like at, let's say you do your cardio in the morning and then in the midday you eat your food and then later on you go to the gym and you start lifting weights and pumping and stuff like that you'll still have a good pump like your pump will literally your body's like a sponge in that regard like they'll look really good but for the most part what happens with people when they look at themselves is they just feel depleted and that's just what's going on there but another thing to keep in mind is why sometimes where people go well why am I not depleted after doing something like let's say sprints or something like that or something that's like you know um, metabolic weight training where you lift the weights and then you have the rest time really short or you do supersets and we've talked about it in depth in this video remember to be hit that bell icon and subscribe i upload a ton of fun content like this so you'll never be bored here but that's what you know those are different things and it makes sense why you wouldn't you know look flat there because you're constantly pumping your muscles through the entire thing and when you're doing something like sprints or interval training what happens is your body literally is going okay well we are using uh added resistance with this depending on what type of interval of training or sprints you're doing so for example Sprints is an anaerobic exercise, meaning it is without oxygen. So that means like a, a oxygen exercise, aerobic exercise is, you know, I'm jogging, I'm using oxygen. Uh, uh, sprinting is an anaerobic exercise because you can't use oxygen fast enough. And so like sometimes your legs look super pumped after sprints because like you're actually building some leg muscle when doing sprints. Also, when, if you do a cycling class, your legs will look super pumped because you have to change resistances when doing that sort of thing. So that is a key, key thing to keep in mind when you are training. So. When you're doing this, bum, 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 mainly glucose, some fat is being used. Now, let's say you're doing something like a ketogenic diet where you've cut out main sources of carbohydrates through your eye. You know, like, you know, no starchy stuff, like, you know, no bread, rice, any of that jazz. And you're still getting carbs from like vegetables, but you're not getting like, you know, big amounts of carbs, which contain a lot of glucose in them. So you're taking away this bad boy right here. 
So let's say you're doing that as your main form because you really want to just burn off extra, you know, fuel and stuff like that. What will happen in that regard is instead of burning off fat, which will primarily be your fuel source because, you know, body's releasing ketones, so you're using fat as energy. Sometimes what happens is if you eat too much protein on keto, your body will undergo a process called gluconeogenesis. And gluconeogenesis is where your body takes the protein and goes like, you know what? We really prefer glucose as our like, you know, fuel source. So it'll actually change the protein into glucose and use that as a glucose source. Like it will take the protein you have and break that down into, um, it will like completely change it into a glucose source. It's very, very fascinating, super fun to look up and it'll start using that for energy. Now, that's a cool thing if you're just, you know, looking to build energy, but if you're trying just to, you know, maintain like, you know, a ripped body just running off fat fuel, then it's not gonna be the best thing for you if you're in keto specifically. But again, I think a full balanced diet works the most. But again, I'm just putting that all out there. The reason I'm explaining all of this is because if you are jogging, jogging like that photo says like it said it makes it seem like you're just going to be emaciated and that's not the case at all you may appear flatter but unless you were like starving yourself unless you are not sleeping enough unless you are not training hard with the weights because remember the key key thing to keeping your muscle if you want to do all this extra cardio is train with purpose you want to train with purpose when you're in the gym you want to either be lifting heavy or you really want to be focusing on that time under tension with the muscle and have like higher reps you can do light weights high reps it just burns a lot more but it still builds that time under tension and as long as you're choosing a moderate weight like i would say a weight that goes from like you can do like 30 to 40 reps with instead of like um you know 100 with because that's pretty much like curling a pencil at that point but like if you have a weight that's around um 30% uh, percent of your like max or something like that or like you can just go I'm just gonna keep pressing this until I hit 30 reps and then it's just burns me out that is good that is good for building and stimulating the muscle and let your body know okay we don't need to break this down at all it's just a bonus thing but literally I'm showing this right now you do not have to worry about breaking this down if you're going for like a jog unless you're doing insane sane overtraining or insane sane under recovery also, a key thing that a lot of people always forget to mention is a lot of marathon runners don't train specifically to have excess muscle mass because it would be very counterintuitive to their personal goals. So you're not seeing them like, you know, go into the gym like gym rats. And to say it again, the main thing is eating enough, sleeping enough, and making sure that you recuperate properly now maybe not run as much especially like on concrete i feel like that can be like very taxing to the knee joint and so you'll be like doing harm to yourself in the long run especially if you're doing like squats and all that stuff but you know keep in mind just you know be safe stay safe the thing that pisses me off though is the fact that you jonathan i'm speaking specifically to you right now you said that you enjoy this you said that this gives you purpose and makes you feel great in life and that's what i love to hear so do it do it more often. It's not hurting anyone. Like again, as long as you're staying safe, you're not running like every day on like concrete or something like that, keep after it. You're going to make great results for yourself if you do something, because that is a key, key thing. If you find something you love to do, keep after it. If it's not hurting anyone, keep after it. If it's not hurting you, keep after it. If you feel like that running is not hurting you, keep after it. So many people these days are obsessed with aesthetics over the health and fitness side of it. Like again, on this channel, I am such a fucking anime geek and like superhero nerd where I like talk about this stuff because I love being able to emulate the characters, you know, running, jumping and doing all this cool stuff, climbing like them. I think that is the best, best thing to do. But then there's people who just like, I just want to look like the character and I just want to like, like really rock the cosplay, but I don't really care about like, you know, moving like them or doing stuff like them. I just want to do this. And that is completely fine. But when you try to stop someone who's actually having a good time, enjoying their life, building up their health and fitness, then that's where I have an issue. Because again, and I will say this every damn time because it will never get old, no matter what physique you have. And Jonathan, I hope you listen to this. And if you heard this from my other video, listen again. I cannot stand this. No matter what body type you have, you will never be good enough for every single person. Remember that right now, no matter what body type, 
you have, you will never be good enough for every single person, so do it for you. Because no matter what the body is, everyone will always scrutinize you for it. Remember, like I've said before, all right? If you're a big bodybuilder, oh, if you're natural, oh, you're on steroids. If you're on steroids and given solid advice, oh, I'm not gonna listen to you, you cheated because you're on steroids. If you're a strong man, oh, I'm not gonna listen to you, you're not really strong, you're fat. Oh, if you're a boxer or just like someone who's lean and has like a, a fitness profession that you have to stay lean for, oh, you, you got some skinny arms, you're a baby arms. So it's like, but I'm really strong here. I don't care. You got some skinny arms. You should bulk up a bit. And then if you're a perfect in between of big, but not too big, but definitely not small, where you just got perfect, like you feel like everything just like works pretty decently, like overall for you, there are people going to be like, oh, that muscle group is lagging. Oh yeah, that's that, that muscle group, like you should work on that. Yeah, that one looks like it's not doing that well. So it's so stupid. You see how stupid that is? You really see how like idiotic it is that people just go, oh, I'm going to scrutinize for every fucking thing. Fuck them. The only person person you have in your life is you. The person you come home and see in the mirror is you. All right. Do not worry about the approval of other people. It is fleeting and it will fade away. You should come home and when you look in the mirror and you're butt ass naked, you should just be like, I am proud of myself and this is what I like and this is what I'm happy for and I'm not working out for the approval of anyone else. If people want to give me compliments for it, great. If people don't want to give me compliments for it, okay. But that is something you have to get in your mind. This is to everyone out there. I've said this so many times before because I really want it burned into every single person's mind is that if you are trying to get better and you are just hyper focused on the validation of other people you will burn yourself out you will burn yourself out no matter who you are I've heard it from the best fitness models I've heard it from the best bodybuilders people you think are legit gods go through the exact same thing so do not get that in your head it says Jonathan you said you were making some progress with your lift so stay lifting keep getting after it. you hit in the gym do what you got to do you're gonna make those results for yourself and to everyone watching this you will make results for yourself too but find your own path again I say this every video, but like it would be so painfully boring if every single person was the exact same. Like if every single person was just like built like a bodybuilder, every single person was built like a freaking fighter, or if every single person was built like a, you know, strong, whatever. Like we're a variety. That's what makes humanity so cool. It's like we're all different like species and varieties of things, you know, what <laughs> not species, you know what I mean? Like we're all just different varieties of people coming together and that's cool. So find your path. Do not worry about the other people. Focus on you and those results will come because you're consistent, you're passionate, and you're eating enough and you're sleeping enough. So don't forget that. Well, dudes and dudettes, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned something. Sorry that I've been gone a bit while. I've been really, really focusing on this hybrid theory program. For the people who don't know, I've been working on this like program that is going to combine like all these different training modalities. And I talked to like different coaches who like were functional fitness, bodybuilding, all this stuff, boxers, trainers, MMA people, so that I can make this entire program just overall. So like you can get those anime pro tag gains for yourself. It's where you not only get the aesthetic, but you also get like the fitness, but it also is just like, you know, you're doing body weight, you're doing weights, you're doing isometrics, you're doing bands, you're doing all this stuff. I'm super, super excited for it to be finished and done. And that's why I've just been putting so much work into it because I really want this to be like my magnum opus fitness stuff. And if you're interested, follow me on my Instagram at Jack's Blade. Uh, that will tell you as soon as it's live, but I've just been working on it with so many talented people and I'm so super excited to release it. Also working on more stuff, going to be at MomoCon in a couple weeks. So if you're at MomoCon, come say hi to me. Like, of course, I'll just, you know, take a picture or anything like that. I just love meeting people who are supporters. And yeah, like, uh, I'm working on the Mega Spider-Man video, but actually working on another video now, probably because uh, Spider-Man got pushed back, but that'll be a surprise when you see it. And yeah, remember, like I always say, uh, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe. And if you made it this far in the video, type in Ollie Ain't No Sissy. All right, because you know that just uh, it just puts the thing home that like you know oh if you do cardio you're not like you're it's, it's pathetic. All right, I'm talking about Ollie, not that bitch from fucking Baki. I can't believe Baki Tain Ollie like that, but like Ollie, the goat Ollie. You know what I mean? So Ollie ain't no sissy. But um, remember, like I always say, keep calm. Booyah on. Be sure to hit that bell icon, subscribe. I got tons of other videos if you're interested in that stuff. Like go check here, 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 here. And yeah, I hope you enjoy and uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace out.